In 25 years in the display industry, I have never seen a pace of innovation like this one. What's happening is that our customers are competing in the same application space at such a rate, uh, trying to differentiate themselves in terms of uh, the device performance and in also certainly in terms of, uh, of cost. It's interesting that people may have this misperception that the TV industry is maturing because for those of you who went to the Consumer Electronics Show or those who didn't, I was really struck by the amount of innovation in the TV space. There were 3D TVs, there were internet connectivity TVs, there were OLED TVs. It was really fascinating. So if anything, we see the pace of innovation in the TV space accelerating as opposed to decelerating. And we think this trend is going to go on for quite some time. Handset makers, cell phone companies, uh, TV set makers continue to innovate and it seems like new products are coming out on a faster cycle. Now what we have is LCDs have uh, essentially uh, the leading technology in TVs of all sizes. All cell phones uh, now have very vivid screen. Computers are also completely turned over to the LCD technology. And therefore, in order to get growth, it's just not about making more screens, it's to make better and better screens. My view of the top three trends uh, today in display are thinner devices, more vivid screens, largely through higher resolution, and of course, the old standby, lower and lower cost. And these trends are irreversible. And what's interesting is that glass plays a role in enabling all these technologies, because glass is really the heart of the display. We're just one of a number of components, but clearly, uh, the glass is like the jeweled bearing upon which the entire industry turns, and therefore we've got a very high responsibility to deliver the most advantaged glass uh, for these new emerging technologies. Corning is the busiest that we've probably been in terms of developing new capabilities in our production units, as well as developing new glasses to offer customers new levels of performance. For example, we're bringing out new glasses that are tuned for the very demanding applications of high performance display. We're offering new thicknesses. We're also devising more damage resistant glasses for these thinner, sleeker devices. We attract the smartest people in their fields in the industry. We have some glass scientists that uh, may not only be the best in the field, but maybe the best in the world at glass research and development. We have uh, manufacturing and expertise in the Fusion platform that's been developed over 25 years. We have core competencies in development, in finishing, and in inspection. So we get the best people, then with very uh, focused effort, put these people on what we believe are the right technology problems, and the end result, more often than not, is innovative products that really enable our customers, the panel makers, to make better panels at a lower cost. And we don't pick winners. What we do is that we develop a series of glasses that are finely tuned for the customer requirements. Uh, we engage with our customers early, so as they're developing a new technology or a major change to an existing platform, we're there with the uh, preferred glass solution. If you look at Corning's um, innovation portfolio, just about everything on it has a direct connection to some new level of performance that the customer is trying to achieve uh, in their products.